Just like we did with Burkina Faso, today we're excited to discuss the top 10 mega projects that Mali has set its sights on achieving by 2024. These projects are nothing short of ambitious and innovative, with the potential to transform the country's economic, social, political and environmental landscape. But before we take a detailed look at these projects, let's backtrack a little. Mali has experienced political instability with two military coups in 2020 and 2021. Colonel Asimi Goita, the leader of the latest coup, has become the new president and is focused on stabilizing the country. He is undertaking construction and developmental projects, including a new airport in Bamako and an industrial park in Kayes. Additionally, he is addressing smaller initiatives like providing clean drinking water to rural areas. President Goita's efforts show promise for Mali's development, despite ongoing political uncertainty. While some of these projects are already in progress, others are still in the planning stages, but all signify Mali's unwavering commitment to progress and the challenges of the 21st century. This video will be focused on those that will be accomplished before 2024 runs out. So, without further ado, let's dive in and start our countdown with the 10th project. The Bamako Metro. This is an exciting project that aims to bring Mali's capital city into the modern age with an efficient and reliable urban transport network. The plan is to construct two metro lines spanning a total of 38 kilometers and serving 28 stations. The first line will run from the Kalabankoro district to the Sotuba district, passing through key areas such as the city center, the presidential palace, and the 26th March stadium. The second line will connect the Sebenikoro district to the Nyamakoro district, passing through the airport, the train station, and the main market. This ambitious project is set to bring numerous benefits to the inhabitants of Bamako. The cost of the project is estimated to be around 1.5 billion US dollars, which is being funded by China following an agreement signed with Mali in 2019. The metro is expected to be completed in 2024, marking a significant milestone for the region. Project number nine, the Bamako-Dakar Railway Project. The goal of the Bamako-Dakar Railway Project is to construct a 1,200-kilometer railway line that will link the capitals of Mali and Senegal, passing through Kayes, Tambacounda, and Ties. This endeavor aims to promote regional unity, facilitate the transportation of people and goods, decrease logistical expenses, and foster economic and social progress in border areas. By revitalizing Mali's declining railway industry, and providing a quicker, safer, and more eco-friendly alternative to road travel, the Bamako-Dakar Railway Project seeks to meet these objectives. With an estimated cost of approximately 2 billion US dollars, China is the project's main financial backer, having signed an agreement with Mali and Senegal in 2018. The project is set to be finalized by the year 2024. Project number eight, the Tausa Hydroelectric Dam. The Tausa Hydroelectric Dam is a visionary project that aims to harness the power of the Niger River to generate 100 megawatts of energy while also irrigating 60,000 hectares of fertile land in the Manaka region. This ambitious endeavor will not only help improve food security, but also create job opportunities and reduce poverty in the area. The project has an estimated cost of 300 million US dollars and it is being funded by the African Development Bank, the Islamic Development Bank, and the Malian government. Although it was launched in 2011, the project faced numerous delays due to security issues in northern Mali. However, it is expected to be completed by 2024 and will become the largest dam in Mali. This groundbreaking project will undoubtedly have a significant impact on the region and we look forward to seeing its positive effects on the local community. Project number seven, the KS Bridge. The KS Bridge project is a positive endeavor aimed at constructing a bridge spanning the Senegal River at the city of Kayes. 
This impressive structure will stretch an impressive 1.5 kilometers and will feature two roadways, a railway, and sidewalks. Its primary purpose is to connect Mali to its neighboring countries of Senegal, Mauritania, and Guinea, thereby promoting trade and human interaction between these nations. The project is estimated to cost approximately 150 million US dollars and is being financed by the World Bank, the West African Development Bank, and the Malian government. The project was launched in 2019 and is expected to be completed by 2024. When it's finished, it will be the longest bridge in Mali. Project number six, the Kita Wind Farm. The Kita Wind Farm is a project that aims to harness the wind potential in Mali, which is among the best in Africa. The plan is to construct a 50 megawatts wind farm with 20 turbines situated in the Kays region, about 180 kilometers southwest of Bamako. The Kita wind farm would provide electricity to approximately 250,000 people, making a significant contribution to diversifying Mali's energy mix, which currently relies on fossil fuels for 80% of its energy consumption. The cost of the Kita wind farm is estimated at around $100 million, and funding comes from the European Investment Bank, the West African Development Bank, and the Danish Climate Fund. The project was initiated in 2018, and it is expected to be operational in 2024. Once completed, it will be the largest wind farm in sub-Saharan Africa. This project is sure to deliver numerous benefits to the country. By tapping into its vast wind potential, it will provide clean energy to a significant number of people, contribute to reducing greenhouse gas emissions, and help diversify the country's energy mix. It is a project worth celebrating and an excellent example of how renewable energy can transform lives and communities. Project number five, the Kati New City Construction Project. This project aims to establish a contemporary and sustainable city, situated approximately 15 kilometers southwest of Bamako in Mali's Kolikoro region. The objective is to construct a city capable of accommodating 300,000 individuals, providing them with high-quality housing, essential public services, robust infrastructure, necessary facilities, lush green spaces, and diverse economic opportunities. The creation of the new city of Kati addresses the challenges posed by Bamako's rapid and disorderly urbanization, including congestion, pollution, and housing instability. With an estimated cost of $1 billion, the project is being financed by Qatar, which entered into an agreement with Mali in 2017. The development is projected to be finalized by 2024, marking Mali's inaugural new city. This is an initiative that is paving the way for improved healthcare access and quality in Mali. This West African nation is grappling with a host of health challenges, such as malnutrition, malaria, HIV AIDS, and tuberculosis, and the project aims to address these issues head on. The project is focused on enhancing the capabilities of health institutions, providing medical staff with rigorous training, equipping them with the necessary tools and medications, and promoting health awareness and prevention measures. Additionally, a health information system is being established to aid in the coordination of healthcare efforts. The ultimate objective of the Health System Reinforcement Project is to reduce maternal, infant and juvenile mortality rates, improve universal healthcare coverage and bolster Mali's resilience to epidemics. Launched in 2021, the Health System Reinforcement Project is slated to be completed by 2024. With its comprehensive approach to healthcare, it is poised to make a significant difference in the lives of Malians and serve as a model for other countries facing similar healthcare challenges. Project number three, the Malian Agricultural Development Project. This is an initiative that seeks to bolster agricultural production and productivity in Mali, a predominantly rural country where agriculture accounts for over 40% of the GDP and provides employment for more than 70% of the population. The project focuses on supporting vital sectors such as rice, cotton, corn, sorghum and cattle by enhancing access to credit, technology, markets, 
income and irrigation. Its ultimate goal is to boost food security, reduce rural poverty, create job opportunities and enhance Mali's competitiveness both locally and globally. The project, which is estimated to cost approximately $500 million, is being financed by the Malian government, the International Agricultural Development Fund and the World Bank. Launched in 2020, the project is set to be completed by 2024 and it is expected to be Mali's most extensive agricultural project to date. Project number two, the Bamako Urban Development Project. The Bamako Urban Development Project is an ambitious initiative aimed at enhancing the living environment and basic services in Mali's capital, which is home to over three million people. The project encompasses a range of actions, including the restoration of roads, the construction of social housing, the modernization of markets, the creation of green spaces, waste management, sanitation, public lighting, and the promotion of culture. The goal of the Bamako Urban Development Project is to make the city more appealing, inclusive, resilient, and dynamic. It is set to be the largest urban project in the country and is slated to be completed by 2024. And finally, the number one mega project of Mali in 2024 is the construction project of the hydroelectric dam of Guina. This initiative seeks to erect a dam along the Senegal River, situated approximately 100 kilometers south of Kays in the region bearing the same name. With a capacity to generate 140 megawatts, this dam will also facilitate irrigation for roughly 100,000 hectares of agricultural land. Its implementation will enhance energy security, foster economic prosperity, and safeguard the environment. The estimated cost for this venture is approximately $400 million, with funding provided by the African Development Bank, the Islamic Development Bank, and the Malian government. Commenced in 2013, the project is anticipated to reach completion in 2024, standing as the most potent dam in the country. That concludes our video on the 10 mega projects of Mali in 2024. I trust you found this exploration engaging and informative, offering insights into the remarkable developments shaping this nation. Your comments are welcomed. Please like and share this video and do well to subscribe to the channel for upcoming content. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates soon.